shit. Uh, you just won't stand there? Well, you should just put the tank and let me sell it. My name is Jared Leonetti Palmore, otherwise known as Three Feet Deep. I use my feet to make the music, and so I had someone call me Three Feet Deep. So I was like, hey, that sounds like a cool name. I'll keep that right there. Um, artist, painter, poet uh, from Birmingham, Alabama. I was born in Lincoln, Nebraska, just moved to Omaha. I've been a poet for 20 years. I've been a singer for probably 30 years. And I started doing this art in 2012. As a kid, I, um, I used to lay on the ground on my back and watch the clouds. And as they started changing, I would color it and try to find the shapes in the clouds and stuff. So that's how I started learning drawing. Then they gave me coloring books, and instead of coloring in the coloring books, I used to draw the pictures. So we kind of started from there, and like I just had an imagination for drawing because I see these things that are they always like you're right in front of me. I can go to sleep, and when I wake up. It's just like these little flashes of pictures in my face. And I have to paint them, you know, because if I don't, they just keep flashing in front of me. So it's, it's, it's weird, and I'm a weird person, so, you know, it's like a kind of a connection that we have. When people ask me to do something, like if I try to paint for myself, it'll just be all right. But if I paint something for somebody, it goes boom, and they like, that's exactly what I was looking for. So it's, it's not me and I, I really don't do it for myself. I do it because I love to see like the reaction of people and I love to see what God has given me to do for these people. Dude, this is beautiful, bro. This is beautiful. Well, that's nice. you Look at this shit. Oh, dude, you're we got you're so there. fucking talented, bro. It's all spray paint. No it's way. It's spray paint? Spray paint. Yeah. What's your name? Three feet. Three feet? Three feet? You're like a solid 5'11". That's what's up. <laughs> Materials are basic. My scrapers, which are pallet knives, or a business card, or old, um, old cricket card, or something flat, hard, um, circles, anything like a bottle top, or um, the top off a of peanut butter, or a coffee top, you know, something like that. What, what you doing tonight, man? Let's spray paint our... Yeah. What you got for me? Oh. My party bus is coming. What is the process that some people have, you, you know, to not ask questions? Because everybody has seven talents. You know, nobody ever tries to just like put their little thing that they like to do out there you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. to be you know to be helpful even if you're just doing it for somebody to make cheer somebody up to you never know what things that you made could bring another idea for somebody else i love art man i, I do love fucking art I excuse me while i be hipster or whatever you know what i'm saying that idea sparks something else in somebody else you know, and somebody else brings something that brings the whole world something else. You know what I'm saying? It's like the uh, the butterfly effect. That was actually our first production company, Pebble in the Pond Productions, mm -hmm. because we always wanted to do that ripple, to share that with people. You know what I'm saying? To spread out uh, a message of love and unite the world. You know what I'm saying? We have to get past the barriers of the physical being. You know, I went and stayed on the street for four years just to understand that part of the world. I had family right in town, you know what I'm saying? And and they didn't understand why I did it, you know what I'm saying? And like all of my friends, and they were all like, 
you need help, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, no, I, I'm fine, you know, I'm cool, you know. And they like, this dude went crazy. I was never dirty. I was never hungry. I was never thirsty. I was never out in the cold. Every time I've tried to talk to people, it, they get mad at me. And I'm like the, the worst person in the room, and they don't want to talk to me anymore. And like, I'm the wild and crazy one, you know, I'm the weird one. So I, I, I accept that, you know what I'm saying? Because I learned that uh, the, the, the smarter you get, the more people think you're dumb. We are here to do better, to do better in ourselves, to do better for each other to do better for everything around us. So we are perpetually part of the whole universe. So in that, we need to understand our place in it. And if we want to be in a better place in it, we need to be better about ourselves. Time is the enemy. Sexy as fuck. <laughs> and love. The game, death, she be the mystery, and joy is the pain. Lies the prosecutor, and passion be the wine. Desire is the food that fills your mind. Cause time is the enemy, love is the game. Death is the mystery, joy is the pain, life's the pursuit, and passion be the wine. Desire is the food that fills your mind. Get up and get your body moving. One, two, three, come along with me. Lift your boost and get you going in hand time for war. We are running no more. Get up and get your body moving. One, two, three, come along with me. Lift your boost and get your mind in hand time for war. We are running no more. Time is the enemy cause we all must die Love is the game that we all have to try Death is the mystery to make you wonder why Joy is the pain that brings tears to your eyes Life's the pursuit to shoot you to the moon Passion is the wine in the rhythm of your groove Desire is the food that fills your mind So get up, get up, get out and get yourself in line Ha, 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 time is the enemy, love is the game Death is the mystery, joy is the pain Life's the pursuit and passion be the wine Desire the food that fills your mind Desire the food that fills your mind Desire the food that fills your mind Desire the food that fills your mind